Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. COVID-19 infections in Australia hit worldwide highs, and experts predict another Omicron variant spike is coming this week. Australia became a world leader. But at WASNTA feat of engineering or some sort of sporting achievement, it was an unwelcome title. According to global databases, Australia led the world in per capita covered infections, if you ignore the tiny islands of Montserrat, Anguilla and the Falklands. On Friday 54,591 cases were reported across Australia, on the back two consecutive days of about 58,000 cases, with Western Australia bracing for new infection records. Saturday's numbers moved the official seven-day average to above 48,000 daily cases, putting Australia behind only Germany and the US in total new daily cases recorded. Read more some countries, such as Denmark, have scrapped COVID-19 testing recommendations, and others have scaled back testing regimes, meaning getting like-for-like -like comparisons across the world is now more difficult. However, in Australia, hospitalizations and deaths are also tracking upwards, with the average number of COVID-related daily deaths hitting 40, doubling since March. But with the country in middle of an election campaign, in which COVID barely gets a mention, a war raging in Ukraine, the cost of living rising and following more than two years COVID restrictions, the virus has, understandably to some, dropped off the radar. And the experts understand. I am over it. Burnett Institute Chief Executive Brendan Crabb said. We all are. But the numbers we are seeing in Australia are extraordinary. So many people are very, very sick. Yet, there is a massive disconnect between what is happening with these disruptions to our lives and why it is happening. For Professor Crabb, the disconnect comes back to what he describes as a fear of covered of the past, and covered now. He said after two years of extreme impacts, Governments and politicians were now afraid to talk about COVID. Instead, he said, they had removed mask mandates and kept their heads in the sand, ignoring the key element of why cases, and hospitalizations, had now increased, transmission. And COVID now, he said, was having a massive impact on society. Remember, lots of COVID is bad for business, he said. We can t ignore that. We've a been seeing that for months. And as a nation, we re also ignoring the health impact. How many of the 350,000 plus active cases in Australia right now will have chronic impacts? Overseas data suggests 10% of them. And that will impact your heart, impact your lungs, organs and brain. It is not nothing. According to University of Melbourne epidemiologist Nancy Baxter, the numbers may get worse. We re at a point where COVID is now one of the major killers of Australians, and probably by the end of the year is going to be one of the top three, she told the ABC. And with increasing case numbers, new subvariants will be coming in. This may drive it even further, which would have a bigger impact. Read more about the spread of COVID-19, cases will go up as Professor Baxter suggests. The emergence of new Omicron subvariants in Australia is complicating matters. Experts suggest the variants may lead to people becoming reinfected, leading to another rise in cases, as is being seen in South Africa and parts of the US. Read more Westmead Institute virologist Tony Cunningham, who has studied the evolution of viruses for more than four decades, said the continued emergence of alternate variants across the world was worrying. We don't know if one of these new variants will acquire the capacity to infect the lungs at the same degree that, say, Delta does. There is COVID all around. And where there is more virus in the community, there is more likelihood of variants emerging. University of South Australia epidemiologist Adrian Easterman said cases will go up across Australia. And hospitalisation will continue to go up as cases go up, he said and cases are going up, and they will go up even further once the new subvariants of Omicron take over, which they will do. Israeli health authorities have detected a case of what some are calling fluorona, a double dose of COVID-19 and the flu. 
It comes as the country is experiencing a spike in influenza cases in recent weeks, sparking fears of a twindemic. Read more our governments are giving out the messages that it is all over. It is not over, yet. We are at the end game. We have reasonably good vaccinations, good treatments and at least a reasonable chunk of the population that is immune. But it is not over. No respite one sector of the community acutely aware that covered is not over is the country as healthcare workers. This week the Royal Australasian College of Physicians reiterated its call for urgent action over burnout and exhaustion in the sector, saying there is no respite. Australian Medical Association President, 